Patients with diabetes suffer from high blood glucose level. And we treat them by antihyperglycemic drugs. But there is a lot and a lot and a lot of these drugs. Do you think we use glitazone or metformin? WHO decided that glitazone must be withdrawn from markets because it increases the risk of bladder cancer and it has cardiovascular events such as rapid heart rate and unfortunately heart failure. It causes weight gain and it has effect on the cell and the cell wall. It causes cell swelling, sometimes edema. It causes as well anemia, which characterized by dizziness and pale face. It increases blood LDL level leading to clogging and atherosclerosis. It has an extremely slower onset of action. Glitazone is expensive. Another class is sulfonylurea, which is associated with weight gain, decrease the blood glucose level, stomach upset, diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting. And in rare cases, it causes death. RIP. What about metformin? It doesn't cause weight gain, sometimes weight reduction or no effect on the weight, and it keeps the blood glucose level within normal. And it's inexpensive. This is why metformin is the first-line therapy in diabetic patients. Congratulations, metformin!